Welcome to the final Revit tutorial, Lesson 11. After learning structural and architectural model, we had learned how to create family. Now, we will do the documentation from those Revit model. We will create drawing sheet and putting different views together. Under the project browser tree, there is a sheet session. Select the sheets. Right click the sheets button. Click the new sheet button. You can see that there are only few sheets. Click the load button. Go to the title block family location. Select the title block sheet that you want to use. Then click the open button. Select the A0 metric title block. Now, we have the title block. We can change the name of this title block. Click the unnamed text. We can also change the number of this title block. And your name. The checker. The submission date or drawing date. However, not all information can be changed or edited. Just like these information. Then, we need to drag some views into the sheet. Go to the project browser tree. Click the first floor plan, and hold the left click. Click on the sheet, and place the first floor plan. We can see that the elevation marks make the view too large. Let's select the view. Double click the view, then we can activate the view. Now, we have entered the first floor plan. We can use the crop region to resize the view. Click the show crop region button. Select the crop region. And adjust the crop region. Edit the crop region so that we can hide the elevation marks. Then we can hide the crop region. After that, we can tidy up the first floor plan. For example, align the grid line. And edit the grid line symbol. After the tidy up, we can go back to the title block. Right click the empty space. Click the deactivate view. Now, let's move the first plan to the left hand corner. Then select the viewport. Move the viewport near first floor plan. Change the viewport type. Let's select the title with no line. Next, we will find out the first floor ceiling plan. And drag out the first floor ceiling plan. Click the empty space to place the ceiling plan. Right click the ceiling plan so that we can do some editings. Click the activate view. Click the show crop region button. Adjust the crop region to hide the elevation marks. Also, we can click the Annotate tab. The official drawings should be containing a lot of dimensions. 
For example, the grid line dimension should be marked. Keep clicking the grid line to create multiple dimensions. Click empty space to place the dimension. Also do that for vertical grid lines. Change the visual style as well. Let's change it to color style. Then hide the crop region. Select the viewport. This time, we change it to no title. We place texts to indicate the ceiling plan. Click on the sheet to place the text. Type, first floor ceiling plan. Click empty space to confirm. Change the text type. Select the 7 mm type. We can also place the 3D view on this drawing. Double click the 3D view to expand. Drag the 3D view out. and place on the top left hand corner. Last, we can place the structural floor plan. Go to the first floor plan. Double click to activate the view. Sometimes, we may still want to add new things when we are doing the documentation. For example, adding new walls. Let's draw the new walls on first floor plan. Deactivate the first floor plan and go back to the drawing. Given that we have just created new walls, we need to mark the new walls to let other people know. Go to the Annotate tab. Click the Revision Cloud button. Revision Cloud is an annotation to notify other people that the specified area has new change or new elements. Circle the new walls in different plans. Also cloud the 3D view on the drawing. Besides the revision cloud, we need to add some texts for explanation. Click the text button. This time, click this arrow button, so that the arrow will link with the text. State that there are new walls inside the revision cloud. Change the text to 7 mm. Moreover, we can use Detail Line button for more annotation. Let's draw a rectangle. Draw a rectangle under the text.
Use the text button again for more explanation. For example, state the wall thickness and the wall material. Click empty space to confirm. Then adjust the detail line. Also put the text on 3D view. We can use this arrow button. We can double click the text to edit. There are different functional button for text. Select the bold text button and the underline button. Finally, we will export the drawing as PDF. Click the file button. You can export as other format, such as CAT drawing or IFC. Click the print button. Make sure that we select the PDF exporter. If we are currently opening the sheet, we can select the current window. Or, we can click the selected views slash sheet button. Then click the Select button. Find the sheet that we have created. No need to save the setting. We can adjust other exportation setting such as quality. Click OK to confirm the exportation. Click Yes to export. Choose the file path to export. Rename the exported PDF. Go to the file location and open the PDF. Then, you can have your Revit drawing in PDF format. For the assignment, we need to create a A0 sheet and edit some information on that sheet. Such as name, date, drawing number. Then, put different views on the sheet. Such as floor plan, ceiling plan, 3D view. You may also need to edit the crop region, so that you can re-see the view. After adding extra annotation, you need to export the sheet as a PDF format.